This recording explains how to integrate the EMC Atmos and EMC Cloud Tiering appliance, also known as CTA. Atmos is a globally accessible and highly scalable cloud storage platform. CTA can archive files from an EMC VNX or a NetApp NAS. Here you can see a subtenant and a UID have been created on Atmos for CTA. Atmos can now be added to CTA. You click on the configuration tab, then on files servers. When you click on new, a drop down list appears and you select Atmos. You indicate the name and in the DNS name field you indicate the IP address of one Atmos node. In a production environment, the DNS name should be an entry in the DNS server which provides the IP addresses of all the Atmos nodes. A load balancer is not necessary because CTA manages the load balancing internally. You select HTTP. HTTPS could be used to secure the communication between CTA and Atmos, especially when CTA and Atmos are deployed on two different sites. First, in the username field, you indicate the subtenant ID slash UID. Next, in the password field, you indicate the Atmos shared secret associated to this UID. Finally, you click on Verify to check whether the communication can be established. Now, to archive files to Atmos, you also need to create a policy. For the purpose of this recording, you will archive all the files bigger than 50k, but it's more common to archive all the files which haven't been accessed for a certain period of time. First, you click on Add Rule and you select the file size attribute. Next, you select the Atmos system you've added previously. Finally, you create a new task to define the source path containing the data you want to archive and to schedule when CTA will apply your policy. You can now add a file in the share and click on Run Now to force the immediate execution of your policy. Now you'll see the icon of the file has changed because the file has been replaced with a stub. Then you delete this file and use the archived file list tab to recover the stub. When a stub is deleted, the corresponding object is not deleted by CTA in Atmos before a defined period of time. You open the file and modify it. The stub has been replaced with the new version and you click again on Run Now to archive this new version. The file has been replaced again with a stub, and if you click on the stub, you open the last version. You delete this stub another time, 
and you can use the archived files tab to recover the stub corresponding to the first version of the file. CTA keeps the different versions for a defined period of time. Because CTA manages the file deletion and file versioning, you can now backup only the active data and reduce the backup window, while also reducing the primary storage and backup costs. So, this demonstrates how you can improve your backup strategy by archiving your data first.